Okay, so you have this room and you don't feel satisfied with how it is, so you decide to give it a makeover. You're doing great. And later on, you realize you have no idea what to do. Where should you start? The furniture or maybe the lightning, maybe a rug? All of them are fine, but they have to make sense. So now you're wondering, maybe the first time in your life, Okay, so what color should you paint it? What goes with that color? Am I crazy to think that this color goes with that other one? Will it look like a circus? Will it look boring? Do I have bad taste? Oh no. Do you feel like you need help sometimes when it comes to combining one color with another? Or even choosing a color because you're not sure how to style a room or decorate one? In today's video, I'll talk about basically what goes with what. And if this is your first time watching our videos, we talk about those existential designers crisis along with interior design tips. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell next to it if you want to get notifications every time there's a new video. I'm Patricia and this is The Designer 101. Truth be told, there are good chances that you don't have bad taste. Yes. What's the saying? The beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Or you just haven't been exposed enough to know which combinations you like best. And it doesn't matter because today I'll give you a quick guide on how to combine colors, which colors and with what other colors, which of them are not compatible and which of them you have to stay away. To guarantee that great look in a room, there is something you need to understand first. What is that defines a style, a mood, an ambience? Try to answer this question really carefully. Think about a space you really, really like, go to Pinterest or whatever. What is it about this great space that you just love? Is it the furniture? Is it the size of it? Is it the shape or colors? And you know what? It's probably everything. Why? because it is a composition, a composition that incorporates its basics, colors and materials. And you think, it's not the floor I like. Maybe not by its own, but that floor with that sofa, with that table is what is magic, composition. So how do you compose? You compose with its basics, colors and materials, or as many people call them, textures. Here you'll find glass, steel, wood, fabric, plastic, concrete, and more. This is like bread and butter. Just plain bread, it really needs to be a great bread, otherwise it will be just feel awful. But together, oh yeah. Chances are you already have at least one material and it is generally the floor, whether it is a wood floor or maybe tiles. And you have two options here. One, you work with the material you already have, or two, remove the material or cover it with the one you really want. Of course, this is the most expensive option, but some people are willing to do it. Now that we're on the same page, let's establish this rule or strong suggestion. You wanna pick three of them. Two colors, one material, one color, two materials, three materials, not sure about three colors because materials are everywhere, but three. When you start having four or worse, five, ouch, it's gonna get off the rails anytime, too much. One, you don't want a mausoleum. Two, mm, yeah, that needs another one. But as I said, strong suggestion. This is for me the sweet spot on combinations. The second most important thing is setting up contrast. Think of it as a balance or a scale. One side is filled with heavy materials and colors. The other side is filled with light ones. You wanna keep at least one of each and one more. The heavy side is filled with materials that their texture is very strong or dark. For example, metal, stone, bricks, concrete, and colors that are in the darkest tones. For example, navy blue or brown, dark red, dark green, etc. And the light side is filled with materials that feel soft to touch, bright or polished, like acrylics, glass, maybe light wood, some stainless steel, and more. And of course, with lighter tones, not only pastels, but also the very bright ones, full yellow or bright red. 
you know a place doesn't feel harmonized when the contrast is not well established. You can also consider that there is always a light version and heavy version of each material and texture. For example, wood. There is dark wood and light wood. There is corrosive steel and stainless steel. There is a bright green and dark green. You always have a choice. So what are your options? Let's start defining which materials go great together that you can combine with any color. Metal and wood, doesn't matter the tones, they have existed for ages and it could work with different interior design styles. Concrete and wood, concrete is generally gray and I would choose a darker tone of wood. High contrast, remember? Acrylic and sheer rock. The acrylic gives this light feeling because it has reflection. With the sheer rock or stone texture gives the balance that the space needs. How about wood and foliage? Great, great for details. Glass and steel, also great. All of the above you can combine with any color. Any color, really. How about colors? Which colors go great together? First, if you're very shy with colors or don't like having too many or any, let me tell you this. All colors go great with black, white, gray, and beige. Think of any color, anyone, and you can combine with any of these four. But for the people that like trying out a few combinations that don't include the basic ones, let's list the pairs that for me work great. For example, green, light or dark, and light pink. Mmm, this looks amazing for a chic ambience. Navy blue and light orange, like a sunset. Not too common, but very, very pretty. Purple and pink for girls room. Yellow and brown, also great. Turquoise and pink, yes. Combinations to stay away. Red and orange, they are both too bright and with time they will feel like one. Blue and red, they are both very bright. They don't go good together. Red and yellow, yep, it will look like a circus. And on the contrary, choosing color that are too similar, for example, turquoise and green, mm, or, or burgundy and brown, it's weird or brown and dark green. Not exactly similar, but both are too dark. Try to have one dark and one light. And the combinations of materials to stay away are stone and steel, too dark together, at least in those stones. Rubber and wood, yuck. Both are great materials, but together, no. Acrylics and glass, it's kind of the same. Truth is, materials go better together. And now that you know which one goes with what, let's try out some tree sounds that work amazing. Wood, yellow, and dark metal. Amazing. The yellow makes everything pop. How about navy blue, glass, and stainless steel? Yep, great. Great for office look. Stone, orange, and wood. Black, wood, and pink. Green, pink, and gold. A little one more subtle light green, gray, and wood. And a bold one, marble, wood, and black. Or a more elegant look, stone, wood, and white. Anyway, these are the combinations that have worked for me before, but I'm sure you have your favorite ones. I'm curious, do you have a combinations or a specific material that you just run away from? Tell me in the comments. If you like this video, I'm sure you'll like the one about choosing matte or polished floor tiles. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell to get notification whenever there's a new video. It's always good to see you guys. See you next time.